Not all people are privileged enough to be born into a life of Christianity or Coptic Orthodox more specifically. Some people are born without any faith at all. Now I See is a dedicated program to unpacking the lives of those people before they knew Christ and how they came to see the light of Christ. Today we welcome Tammy as she uncovers for us her journey to finding Christ. Welcome Tammy. Hello. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Uh, so I was born in China and I lived there until I was 14 years old and then I went to the United States to study abroad in a boarding high school for two years and in 2016 my family moved to Australia and wow. I came here as well. Now I'm a university student studying social work at Western Sydney University. Excellent, yeah. that's awesome. And tell me, <coughs> um, tell me about your background, your spiritual background more specifically and your faith growing up. Yeah, so um, I was born in a family that's not religious or spiritual at all. And um, like the first 14 years of my life, I really didn't have like any connection or any way to know much about like God or any kind of religion. And then when I went to the U.S., I was enrolled in uh, Episcopalian school. But even at that school, only 5% of its students actually Episcopalian. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I had to go to the chapel every week. But um, like it just didn't touch me. And um, we were just there to sometimes listen to the priest talk. But um, I just don't feel a connection. So, and the school is like okay with their students being from whatever faith, like Islam, agnostic, or others. Uh, it's after I came to Australia, mm -hmm. uh, I made some friends when playing volleyball. And then one of the friends, he told me about his faith, and he's Coptic Orthodox Christian. And then, um, we just started reading the Bible together, and he also took me to his church, which is uh, St. George Coptic Orthodox Church in Kensington. They had a program on Friday nights uh, hosted by Father Matthew that's for um, international students mm -hmm. studying in UNSW, and they will, uh, will read um, uh, Bible chapters together and then and share food. So it's like socializing and also trying to introduce more people to God. So I first started going to that and then I got really more and more interested in how God works. And I started going to the Wednesday Bible study sessions and also Friday evenings, they have another youth meeting for um, Coptic Christian youth and I just became more and more involved in church that way. And after 10 months, I was baptized wow. in St. George on St. Mary's Feast oh, this beautiful. year. Yeah, but before, uh, before coming to God, I was agnostic, which means I believe there is a higher power, but I'm not quite sure what that is or like who that is, what it's like. And can you yeah. explain the difference between agnostic and um, atheist? Atheist uh, believes that there's no God yeah. at all. Uh, yeah. So you, you always believe that there was a something, there was a higher power that existed yourself? Yeah, I've always believed that and I've always believed there is something mm -hmm. after our life on earth, okay. like it wouldn't just finish like that. Okay. Yeah. And so what um, role did your parents play in that? Did, did they share the same view? Actually, my parents, they've been pretty supportive um, about my decision to like getting baptized and getting more involved in church. Mm -hmm. uh, although they are not religious themselves, like they just, like from what they heard, I think, like they just know that 
Christianity is a religion that teaches people to do good and to love people around them. Yeah. yeah, and my mom, she actually told me that she went to church once after he came. she came to Australia as well. And she would be interested in uh, what I learned at church. And uh, she has a Chinese version of the Bible as well. And she would ask me questions about the faith. That's and I would great. try to explain to her uh, I will just try to explain to her like as best as I can. Yeah. And so going back to your past, can you describe to me now that you have learnt to know Christ and, and you're still coming to know Christ, what was um, your life like before that? Mm, I actually, um, growing up, I just had a lot of... Uh, academic stress okay. um, like from I got that like from the pressure of studying in China like the competitive environment sure. and also from my parents and also I went to boarding school when I was pretty young when I was around five years old so mm -hmm. I grew I just grew up without m much like emotional support from my families and I didn't really feel close to them so I got really depressed while I was studying in the U.S. Uh, and I, I suffered from depression for um, f four years, I say, wow. four years. I was on medication, uh, I was feeling suicidal, I was hospitalized. Wow. Cause, but like I was achieving at school, but I just feel like all that I do is pretty pretty meaningless just competing yeah. with other people I just think there are greater meanings about behind this life yeah. um, behind the things that we go through it's not all about winning and trying to prove that you're better than other people no, and all course. that um, so something was definitely missing there was a yeah, void I just yeah, I feel empty and I feel mm. really hopeless yeah. Yeah. And I think there's just a period of time that I really think there's not much to expect. It's just like I'm going to graduate, I'm going to work, and then basically that's it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And mm -hmm. now that in your studying um, social work now at um, Western Sydney, yeah. Do you feel that um, God can play a role in, in your studies now? It definitely, I think God lead me to choose what I'm studying now and choose the career path that, I, um, that I'm that i going through. Like, um, yeah, I want to be a social worker yes. and to uh, help people. Like if I, so because of depression, I, mm, I wasn't, able to graduate from year 11 so and then I was I think I was turning like 19 and in Australia if you're turning 19 you can't be enrolled in a public school anymore to okay. continue year 11 so I chose to go to TAFE and I was just going through all the options with my um, with the um, I think career advisor at my high school at the moment and when I saw the a course called Community Services, it just really mm. hit me because I feel like for me to, um, like my value as a person in this world is try to help others and try to make maybe even a little bit like small changes in other people's lives so they can have hope um, in what the future lays for them. and. I just think that's what God told me and that's how God guide me to this career path. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so I can feel that so I can feel that like my worth. Yeah. Uh, where you're, it lies you're valuable, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you're giving back based on what you you've your own experiences mm -hmm. and turning that around hopefully for other people. Yeah. And tell me, um, so since your introduction to the Coptic Orthodox Church, how have you been made to feel welcome? Mm -hmm. 
Hopefully I it's think, been a positive experience yeah, for you. It, it definitely it definitely was. Um, so at first lots of the people that went to the uh, like the Bible study group for international students okay. were actually Chinese as well. So um, I feel welcome because they are just like me. Growing up in China, you don't really get exposed to any kind of religion at all. Um, like everyone's starting fresh. And uh, Shahir, who's, uh, who's always there to um, leading uh, to lead the um, the discussion mm -hmm. he like he tries to explain things to us very patiently and in a way that's like easy for us to understand despite not having uh, not having much knowledge and not growing up in the church and also I have my friend who uh, who said that when Ever I have any question reading the Bible, I can always ask him. And he also recommended me a lot of uh, sermons and books yes. to read, mm -hmm. like Mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis, and lots of sermons that's by Father Anthony Messa. Yes. Yeah, and his <laughs> book, Whatever God. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just like reading those books and listening to the sermons really helped me as well. And uh, also the church fathers, so Father Krillis and Father Matthew, um, they've helped me a lot along the way. I can always ask them if I have anything that I don't understand, like how the church works, like, because everything's, everything that we do in liturgies and stuff has a meaning behind yes. it. I can always ask them if like, I don't understand anything and they will always, have it and explain it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. And um, tell me, obviously, um, being that Coptic Orthodox, you know, originates in Egypt, and the liturgy was first ever spoken in all Coptic and mm -hmm. then Arabic. Um, it's for me amazing that it's spoken in English now. Does yeah. that play a, an important part for you? Yeah, it's Obviously. definitely yeah, important because yeah. I do not understand <laughs> Coptic or Arabic. No, me neither. But at every liturgy, they, um, they always have like on the screen the English version of what they're saying, even if they're saying Coptic mm -hmm. or in Arabic. Um, and also you can choose to go to an English Mass or an yeah. Arabic Mass. And also at this the other church that I attend is St. Luke. Orthodox Church in Slovenia, and um, they have a lot of people there that did not born as Coptic Christian. Yeah, like they, I understand St. Luke's is the mission church reaching yeah, out to multicultural. Yeah, they have lots of like Aus Australians yes. that's going there, yeah. and also some Asians. Uh, in, the, in their liturgy, everything they say, it's in English, English just trying to accommodate yeah. Uh, a multicultural um, congregation yeah. and they also have uh, everything on the screen and the father will actually do a short introduction before like each part like um, he will say like uh, like before uh, selecting the bread the body of Christ he, he will explain to the congregation like why he's doing that just yes. like a short introduction but it like make people feel included yes. and um, just feel, yeah, just make people, just it's a very inclusive environment. Yeah. That people no, won't I feel agree. like uncomfortable there because it's like a Coptic, yes. it's a Coptic re religion. Yeah, that people look different, but you know, they love and care about uh, the, all, all of the congregation, no matter if you are from the same cultural background or not. Yeah, yeah, correct. That's that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tammy, very much for answering mm -hmm. all of my questions. Um, that's all we have time for in this first part of Tammy's journey into finding the light of Christ. Thank you.